here are 10 things you probably didn't know about batten disease. Number one, batten disease is terminal. That means that regardless of treatments or special care, batten disease will end in death. Cases that involve patients surviving past 30 years old are incredibly rare, and most cases are fatal by the time the patient reaches the late teenage years. Number two, batten disease is a genetic disorder. That means that it's passed on to a child from his or her parents. In order for someone to have batten disease, both parents must have the mutated gene. And even in that case, there's only a 20% chance that the child will develop batten disease. If a child inherits only one mutated gene, they become a carrier and can pass the gene on to their children. Number three, there is currently no treatment for batten disease. Because it's a terminal condition, there is very little that can be done to treat the symptoms or slow the progression of the disease. There are, however, treatments that can help alleviate specific symptoms. There's an approved treatment that can slow the deterioration of walking ability, which is a common symptom of batten disease. Anticonvulsant drugs can help with seizures, and an increase of vitamins C and E have sometimes been reported to slow the progression of batten disease. Number four. For those affected, batten disease is present at birth. In other words, if you aren't born with it, you'll never have it. However, most batten disease patients are unaware of their condition for years before symptoms start appearing. So often, a seemingly healthy child will start to develop symptoms of their pre-existing condition, making it seem as though it was developed shortly before the symptoms started appearing. Number five, batten disease is a rare condition, affecting less than one in every 25,000 Americans. Although incidence rates are higher in other countries like Sweden, Finland, and Canada, it remains an incredibly rare condition worldwide. However, because it's genetic, it's not uncommon for two or more family members to suffer from batten disease. Because of its rarity, it's often hard to diagnose, and it can take years for a correct diagnosis to be determined. Number six, batten disease is known by many names. The full technical name of batten disease is spellmeyer vogt sjogren batten disease. It's also sometimes referred to as Cuff's disease, lipofusionosis, or jansky bolshowski disease. Number seven, vision loss is an early indicator of batten disease. Slow deterioration of eyesight is a common symptom, and it's not uncommon for someone to discover they have batten disease as a result of an eye exam. Number eight, there is currently no known cure for batten disease. Because it's terminal, eventual death is the only possible outcome. And although research is being done, it's unlikely that a cure will be discovered in the near or distant future. Number nine, symptoms of batten disease start appearing between the ages of four and 10. We learned earlier that people are born with batten disease, but symptoms don't always show up right away. The symptoms also progress gradually, making it hard to recognize a problem until years down the road when the symptoms develop into more serious conditions, including dementia, seizures, and vision loss. Number 10, there are several common symptoms of batten disease. Early symptoms generally include gradual vision loss, decreased motor skills, seizures, and slight personality or behavioral shifts. The symptoms gradually progress and cause the patient to go blind, be bedridden, experience serious seizures, and lose mental capabilities. Eventually, the condition worsens to the point that it becomes fatal. I hope you enjoyed that video. Have you had an experience with batten disease? Tell us about it in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching.